Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good evening, and welcome to the 2012 Candlelight Processional. Tonight's presentation is under the baton of conductor Chris Confessori.
the Voices of Liberty and Epcot's 2012 Candlelight Processional.
ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this evening's special guest narrator, Leia Salonga. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2012 Candlelight Processional. This is number nine narrating for me, and I'm a little sad because this is the last one. So I just, before I begin anything, I just wanted to say thank you for allowing me to share the stage with all of you, with the, with the Voices of Liberty, with the cast choir, the guest choir, the orchestra, and, and Chris, and, and, and Rick, and it's just been such such a marvelous, marvelous way to spend the holiday. So thank you. Thank you very much. I am from a country where Christmas is a huge deal. I come from the Philippines, where the Christmas season begins in September. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. The Christmas carols begin playing on the radio around then. My mom gets her tree up in mid-November. And I think there are some people that get their tree and decorations up even earlier than that, which makes me believe, okay, insane. But it's, it's obviously the favorite season of, of, of my home country, and so it's really such a thrill for, to be here. Anyway, let us begin tonight's presentation. And it came to pass that the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee named Nazareth. He came to a virgin named Mary, who was betrothed to Joseph of the house of David. And the angel said, The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you shall conceive and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. <laughs>
And there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and all went to be enrolled, every one to the city of his birth. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth to Judea, and into Bethlehem, the city of David. He took Mary with him, she being at the time great with child. While they were there, Mary brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be unto all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord.
suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child, and all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, 
in the days of Herod the king, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. child with his mother Mary, and they fell down and worshipped him, and they offered their treasures and presented gifts to him, gold and frankincense and myrrh.
like the Magi kings and shepherds of 2,000 years ago, we gather tonight to honor the birth of the holy babe, and we pause to remember his eternal promise of goodness and light. Joseph Moore, the priest, and said, Father Joseph, the organ is broken, and we will have no music for the Christmas Eve service. Later in the day, as Joseph made his rounds in his parish, he visited one home where a baby had just been born, and he thought about the birth of the baby Jesus. He was so inspired, he wrote a poem and went back to the church and found Franz. He said, if we can't have the old organ, maybe we can have a new song. I wrote a poem, and you can play the guitar. Franz said, Father, I only know three chords. <laughs> then make a song with three chords. Well, Franz hummed and strummed and soon he had composed the most beautiful and beloved of all of the Christmas carols.
born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in still another village where he worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. Then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family or owned a house. He didn't go to college. He never visited a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place he was born. He did none of the things one usually associates with greatness. He had no credentials but himself. He was only 33 when the authorities condemned his teachings and the tide of public opinion turned against him. His friends deserted him. He was turned over to his enemies and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for his clothing, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave. More than 20 centuries have come and gone, and today he is considered by many to be the central figure of the human race and the leader of mankind's progress. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man on this earth as much as that one solitary life. Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace.
enjoyed being here with you for this Walt Disney World Christmas service of traditional songs and scripture. This has been just such a thrill to be surrounded 360 degrees by these voices and by this orchestra. Please give them another round of applause. This was amazing. Thank you. I have been to and sat through a lot of masses and service. First time ever to be surrounded like this. This should be a ride here somewhere in Epcot. <laughs> it, it, yeah, Amer the American Idol experience has nothing on this. Um, from me to you, uh, from my family to yours, Maligayang Pasko at Manigong Bagong Taon, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And yes, we will be celebrating the coming of 2013. God bless you all, everybody. Have a good night.
to all our participating choirs and to tonight's guest narrator, Lea Salonga. As our Holidays Around the World celebration continues this evening, we remind you to check your Times Guide for other holiday offerings here at Epcot and for our signature nighttime spectacular, Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. From all of us at the Walt Disney World Resort, we hope you enjoy the remainder of your visit to Epcot, and we wish you and yours a meaningful holiday season and the happiest of New Year's.